This story is quite unfortunate. I still don't know why a lot of women stay in abusive relationships, even going as far as defending and protecting their abusive partners. So this woman was found dead in her pit toilet in her home few days after she dropped a domestic violence case against her husband. They even both went on the internet making cuddly videos together telling people that they have settled, that they should mind their business, that they should butt out of their relationships. These are people she had initially complained to. These were people who were worried for her. And after doing these videos, after dropping the charges, few days later, she was found dead in her pit toilet. And of course, what would have happened to her? Did she mistakenly fall inside and drown? Or did this abusive husband have a hand in her death? So the man who is named Madaze, said to be a popular comedian in Limpopo dead in South Africa, and he was married to a 33-year-old Nengo Vela. So the both of them, they had children and, you know, they live like couples. And since they are sort of a celebrity in a way, their life was sometimes on the internet. As you can see with a lot of pictures, they were also posting together. You could see that, you know, they were in love in the pictures that they share on the internet, not knowing that behind closed doors, it was a nightmare for this woman. It was said that Madaze was physically and verbally abusive towards Nengo Vela, towards his wife. And according to her accusation, he beats her up, he cheats on her, he would bring women to their matrimonial home while she is there, and when she complains and tries to revolt, he would beat her up. He was a chronic cheat. Now remember they have children together, his abusive nature was not even limited to his wife. In the wife's accusation, he was also evil towards his children. In one specific instance, it was said he locked up his oldest daughter in the dog's cage as a form of punishment for something that she may have done. Almost to the point the little girl was attacked by the dog at some point. And over the time, it was said, you know, she would manage it the way people in abusive marriage usually do. They would forgive, they would try to report, they would threaten to, you know, leave the marriage. After a while, they would settle, he would beg. Clearly, this man had a charm towards the wife and he had his way of, you know, making her stay or making her come back. And it kept on working until she couldn't take it anymore. It's not clear when she filed this case, but somewhere in 2022, it was said, you know, she spoke out and this case was brought to a court and eventually, Madaze was arrested and remanded in prison. He was not even allowed bail. So this man was finally arrested because clearly he is a monster. Anyone who can do that to their child or daughter is a beast and should be tamed in a cage. And of course, again, this is a domestic violence case. Many people were on the woman's side. A lot of NGOs reached out, people were on her side. They will always be and they fought for her. They even helped her get the case to the point where this man was eventually locked up because his abusive nature was getting out of hand. So many people, again, were on her side. Shockingly, towards the end of January 2023, when the case or when the trial for Madaze was about to begin, obviously the woman would have to come to testify, the children would testify, neighbors would testify, family members would testify, she would show proof of all the bruises, all the beatings, and she had all the evidence ready to put this man in jail forever, only for her to come to court and decided that she was going to drop all the charges against her husband. I guess maybe she felt lonely at home. I guess maybe somebody must have put in words in her ear that, you know, she needs her husband, her husband needs to be there for the kids. And clearly they're still young couples. So I can understand she may have missed her husband and I can understand the husband had a sham towards her and may have begged her again and promised her that he would change, that he's repented. And, you know, she may have fallen for it. And she dropped the charges on their way home this man picked up his phone, made videos, making mockery of the South Africa judicial system, you know, telling people that, see, I'm back, or settled, you go F yourself, we are together, the love never dies, you know, mind your business, stay out of a relationship, this does not concern you. And this was posted on the internet and everybody was surprised that this was the woman's decision. However, that same week, barely two days, I think they came out from prison on a Thursday and on a Friday, that was when the man claimed, that his uh, mother there, started claiming that he could not find his wife. All of a sudden, his wife went missing. And on Saturday, he eventually then called the girl's parents and told them that he found her in the pit toilet. And everybody's like, what do, what do you mean you found her in the pit toilet? What do you mean you found her in the pit toilet? How did she get to 
be dead inside the pit toilet. At this point, I think he was trying to make it seem like she fell or it was an accident or someone did it. But this man clearly is dumb because really, it's way too soon. You just got out of prison. I guess he wanted to do it at a time when people would not suspect him because that period of time it looked like they were good. But he has forgotten that people know that he has this history of being abusive. Clearly and obviously, no one fell for whatever pranks he was trying to play. Because when it comes to pranks, this man is very tricky. Like when we checked his history, it's not the first time he's trying to pull a prank. Sometime in 2017, it was said that he pranked the entire South Africa, telling them that his mother was dead and that he needed money. He even went as far as making a tombstone with his mother's name in a graveyard to show people that his mother was actually dead. And that was how he was getting money from donors, people were donating, not knowing that his mother is alive. I don't know how he was caught, but eventually, you know, what happens in the dark eventually comes to light and he was exposed. And I think he was trying to play the same trick with the death of his wife. He used that period of time when they had recently just settled and decided to strangle this woman and throw her body in the pit toilet so that he can claim that she fell or something else happened. That way people would not suspect him because they had just recently seen him settle with his wife and they seemed really good, just the same week. But obviously people did not buy it. He was the first suspect. He was the prime suspect and when his wife's body was brought out, he was arrested and currently is in prison right now facing trials for the death of his wife, crying, acting all piteous so that people would have mercy on him. I'm not even sure if he has denied it, but I'm sure he's going to deny being the one uh, behind it. But it's just unfortunate that this woman gave you another chance and this is how you chose to pay her back. Some men are just plain evil. This is the height of evil. Just few days after this woman pardoned your life, gave you another chance, told the whole world to mind your business, that she has settled things with you and you did this to her. Clearly he was hurt that he went to prison, however. Clearly he was angry. Clearly he had it in his mind to do this to her when he comes out of the prison. But he probably thought he was going to get out of it. He probably thought he was going to escape it. He thought he was going to be able to fix it. He thought he was most likely going to convince people that he was not the one behind it. That it was someone else or something else or it was an accident. How dumb and how devious this man is. It's just really, really pathetic that this was how it turned out for Nengovela. It's painful. And this is not the first time we've seen domestic violence cases like this when the woman just keeps giving these men the chance, keeps forgiving, keeps coming back, keeps trying to fix it and nothing changes. In all my life of talking about domestic violence cases like this, I've never seen it get better. It's almost like there's a pattern of these men not changing. It's almost like with each forgiveness, it gets worse. We've seen it way too much on this channel. It's really frustrating. It's almost like if more people can see this and learn, many women would be safe and protected. I know the domestic situation also affects men, but let's face it, it's mostly the women who suffer it the most. Well, I guess this backfired quickly on him because who else would they arrest? Who else would be the suspect? If he was smart enough, he would most likely may have pinned it on someone else but it will still come back to bite him because it was way too soon and you have a history and everyone knows she was last seen with you and she was even dead in the same house that you people live so who was he trying to fool and for him to be a comedian someone who should be making jokes and bringing light and bringing happiness bringing laughter into people's lives this is the flip side of the comedy because this is clearly not a laughing matter i hope this man just remains in prison i hope he stays there this time he's gone you're gone. They should not even deliberate this. Lock him up. It's, it's, it's messed up. Very unfortunate. But you guys let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you feel about this story. Let me know what you think about the woman dropping her charges. What could have been behind it? And it's also ironic that some people are actually defending the man saying that he didn't do it and that maybe somebody else did it to pin it on him because it was the right time. People are coming on his defense. Obviously, he would have fans who would like him, but no, I don't believe it. There's no chance in hell that he all the odds are against him at this point and even if somebody else did it and pinned it on him he still needs to go to jail for being a very horrible person to his wife and children so maybe somebody did it and he's suffering for it but regardless i don't care he should suffer because i believe he did it i believe he killed his wife let me know what you think don't forget to like this video comment your thoughts and share with your friends don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification button should there be any future updates you'll be the first to get notified thank you guys for watching